To ensure you're able to zero your scope and gun effectively, you need to eliminate as many influencing factors as possible. For example, do not attempt to zero a light calibre in windy conditions as this will impact upon your consistency. Also try to eliminate human error as much as possible by setting up in a comfortable shooting position with a solid rest for the rifle to reduce movement. Before zeroing your device, there are a number of settings that we recommend you check first. If you have an Excite 4 or Mars 4 thermal, ensure you have the correct device type selected for your objective size of lens. This will be indicated on the packaging that the scope came in. If the incorrect device type is selected, your unit will not operate correctly. Secondly, ensure that the ballistic calculator is turned off during the zeroing process. This can be done via the quick carousel menu, provided the extended options are activated. Thirdly, you may wish to activate the viewfinder widgets to assist you with ensuring that the scope and rifle are in an upright position. If they are not in an upright position and your scope is mounted high above the barrel, it will impact your accuracy more the greater the distances you are shooting at. Lastly, you may like to select the most appropriate reticle for zeroing. Both the shape and colour can assist with both visibility and again your ability to keep the rifle in an upright position with the target. Depending on the configuration of the rifle you are using, you may wish to bore sight it or use a bore laser before you start live firing in order to get the scope and gun as close as possible to zero rather than wasting ammunition to do so. We recommend starting the zeroing process at as short a range as possible such as 15, 20 or 30 metres. Use as large a target surround as possible in order to clearly see where shots have landed to then make adjustments. Once you have a short range zero established, you can then move back to your chosen zero range and use a smaller target. Having taken a shot at the target, identify the point of impact and if necessary mark it to make it more clear when looking through the scope. It is possible to access the zeroing screen either via the quick carousel menu by clicking the reticle emblem or via the main menu by selecting profiles and zero and then current provided that that is the profile that you wish to zero. The quick carousel menu will only allow you to access the current profile. Once in the zeroing screen you will have two reticles. One is your normal selected reticle type and the other is a white cross with a white dot. While holding the rifle steady and the white reticle on the aim point, move your normal reticle to the point of impact using the directional buttons on top of the scope. Once you're happy with the position of the reticles, click the enter button and then select save and exit to complete the operation. Your ATN 4 series device is able to save multiple profiles. These can be used to save zero for different guns if you have a repeatable system for mounting the device from one weapon to another and then back again. You may also wish to use them for different ammunition options within the same rifle. For example, if you wanted a frangible round for vermin control and then a heavier round for large game type species. Or perhaps in order to switch profile for different zeroing ranges rather than using a ballistic calculator. When carrying out the zeroing process, it is possible to do so at different levels of digital zoom. We recommend starting at a low magnification for close range zeroing and then move to full magnification once you're at your chosen zeroing range in order to make fine adjustments. Full magnification can either be accessed before entering the zeroing menu when taking your shot or it can be accessed within the zeroing menu. Only while your device is on full magnification can you make single increment changes to the zeroing coordinates. Your zero coordinates are displayed in the top centre of the zeroing screen and they represent the location of the reticle within the display's matrix. Your ATN 4 series device has the ability to reset your reticle to the centre point of your display provided that the coordinates are within a relative proximity to the centre point. However, if you've had to make significant adjustments to reach your zero, you may notice that the screen shifts in order to recenter the reticle each time you zoom in. This will not impact upon the accuracy of your scope. 
it is important to eliminate or reduce as much as possible other influencing factors when zeroing a scope. If you are struggling to achieve the consistent grouping you desire, you need to consider some of the following factors, such as Is your gun well rested and are you holding it steadily enough? If you're not getting a good group, is the ammunition that you're using either of a poor quality or does it just simply not suit your rifle? It is important to test your rifle with different types of ammunition to see what it suits. Is the scope mounted properly and are the fixings tight? Similarly, is the rifle action and barrel mounted securely in the chassis? Is the moderator tight and is it clear for the bullet to pass through? Ensure rounds are not clipping or hitting a build-up of debris within the moderator. If you have checked all these factors and are confident that there is no issue with any of them, it is sometimes a good idea to mount an alternative good quality rifle scope and test the setup.